Okay, so we have the data below us, the selling price in hundreds of thousands and list price also in hundreds of thousands of homes sold. Construct a scatter plot, find the value of the linear coefficient, and find the p-value using 0.05. Is there sufficient evidence to conclude there's a linear correlation? So we need to find our linear correlation. I'm going to open this in Excel and show you how to do this. Now you'll, I'm going to point out kind of where you might try to use, but you're going to probably want to use the full regression. I'm going to tell you why here. So first, what's our normal alternative? Well, if you look to the notes, they're always the same. Um, it's P equals zero, P is not equal zero. Pretty much, is there a linear correlation? Is there not? That, that's really always what it is. Um, and this is just the official way of writing it. Um, and this P value is the, the what we're finding. It's actually the Greek letter rho. Now we're going to find our scatter plot. So I'm going to come over in Excel. I'm going to highlight all my data. I'm going to go to insert, scatter, and I get my scatter plot. Now I could pretty this up if I want this in my, uh, if I was using this, you know, as something in like a presentation. But for right now, this gives me what I need. I've got a nice little straight line here. I can match that up. I can see that goes right there. The other thing I can tell right now is the next thing it's going to ask me is to find the linear coefficient r. Looking at this, coming back here, I can tell you right now this is going to be pretty close to 1. Remember, a uh, linear coefficient goes from negative 1 to 1. Negative 1 is a perfect negative correlation. 1 is a perfect positive correlation. This is a pretty good straight line. That, that looks pretty straight. So I'd expect this to be pretty close to 1. It's not going to be 1, but I'd expect it to be pretty high. I wouldn't be surprised this is 0.8 or 0.9. If I got like 0.2, I'd be thinking something's wrong. That doesn't make sense with the picture. This, this should help. This should match. And this also gives you an idea of what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to data analysis. And you might think I want the correlation. No, I actually want the regression. If you do the correlation, it's only going to give you this first R value. It's not going to give you the other values you need. And because we need the other values, we're just going to run the full regression. Plus, honestly, the next section is regression. Might as well do it all. So this is the y, and they said the list price was y, so this is b1 to b11, and this is a1 to a11. I always like to include the labels. I'm going to click this right here to include the labels. If I can get my mouse to work. Right here, confidence intervals, I can click that. Um, obviously, this is also where if I'd want to change it if I wasn't doing 0.05, and here I was doing it, but if I wasn't. There's other stuff I can get if I need them. I don't need them, but if you were doing something higher, you might very well want these standardized residuals or the residuals or any of this fun stuff. Okay, so I usually, actually I wasn't paying enough attention here. I usually don't let it, um, I, I usually tell it to put out here instead of a new worksheet. It doesn't really matter. So when I look at here, this first one, this is what we want here, this multiple R, this here, this is our R value. You can see it's called R and everything. That's kind of nice, right? I'm going to come back here, and this says round to three decimal places, so 0.989, so 0.989. Okay, test statistic, that's down right here. So we're looking at, you can see here, selling price, so because this is asking us, this is saying, you know, um, this is our, our x value here, our selling price. And right here, that's our, and this is going to be our p value. We're going to need both of these. So this is first, test statistic t is 18, oh, I'll put a click here, 18.896. And then our p value right here, right there, is point. Oh, no, I went over one too far. That's pretty much zero. So remember, this is this E that's really uh, like 10 to the negative 8. This is point zero zero seven zeros six three six. This is pretty much zero. So you're just going to put in zero um, because it only wants three decimal places. So that zero, obviously less than 0.05. So because the p-value is less than the significance level, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that there's a linear correlation between the selling price and the list price at alpha equals 0.05. So had this been larger, say we got as the answer 0.1, which is larger than 0.05, we have to say because it's greater, we do not have sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation. 
And this again makes sense. When we look at this, we expected, based on this picture, to prove a positive linear correlation. And that's what we did, so we can see it made sense for us. But you can see Excel did all the hard work for us. All these values came straight out of Excel. The one trick here is realizing that you actually want to run the regression, not the correlation. Just to give you a quick look at this, if I would have ran the correlation, I'm going to go here, insert oh, data, data analysis. I'm going to go back and I'm going to run this. I just want you to see what's going on here. So again, input range A1 to B11, columns, labels in first row, output range, I'm going to go down here, A17. You can see what this gave us was just the R value. This gave us just the correlation coefficient. So the only thing you need is the correlation coefficient. This is a faster, quicker method of doing it. But if you need other stuff, which a lot of the problems are going to ask you for, you need to run the full regression. So just to give you an idea of what that will produce, that right there, this is exactly the same thing we got here. The issue is this didn't give us T, it didn't give us the P value. By running the regression, we got both of those. So just kind of forewarn that you can use it, but it's not going to give you everything. The regression will actually give you everything you need.